Hi guys, another art video. Uh, this will be a lunchtime art time and I'll be doing it maybe a little bit longer because I'm at home and I've got time to dry. So I'm going to be using some scrap effects stamps and stencils today, which I love. And also the quote today that I'm using is from Lisa Sonora's 30 day project. Um, I've been doing it, it's just started at the start of June and I'm just doing it in a little pocket-sized journal that I take to work so that's what I've been doing at lunchtime and each day she sends you an email with quotes in it so this is the quote from Rumi that I'm doing today you should join up it's free and it makes you think about your art and why you do it and um, helps you discover your artistic voice so I really encourage you to join up I'll put the links to that below as well as the links to scrap effects where you can buy the stamps and stencils so for now let's get to I'm it using today are my Atelier free flow i have titanium white quinacridone magenta french ultramarine blue and cadmium yellow light so i'll just put them all out on my palette and with my wide flat brush. I'm just going to paint some watery in the background. I really like just this getting down a layer of colour on the page. Just free flowing. Helps me to get into the mood of what I'm doing. So what I'm going to do now, I've got my water mister. I'm actually going to take it I've just got a little store card um, and I'm just going to scrape it down the page and I'll see what happens. Just to push that back a bit. So where the water was, it's diluted the paint and there's some really nice patterns. dry um, I'm going to do a bit of stenciling and sorry but I don't really look after my stencils I don't clean them when I should but this is a scrap of X stamp um, I'm not really sure if you can see that but I'll put a link to it um, down below um, as you can see it's probably one of my favorite stencils did I just say stamps I meant stencil so what I'm going to do is a layer of white so I'm just using a little makeup sponge or you could use cut and dry foam which I've just cut up into squares and I'm just going to randomly stencil the white over the top of the background colours. I'm not really fussed as to whether I'm getting all the stencil or not. I want it quite random. I don't mind if you can't see the exact outline of the flowers. I just want a suggestion. It's just another layer. So that's all it is. Just a simple little layer. Dry that. So my next layer is stamping and I have this new Stampers Anonymous script stamp. Um, I'm using the Black Archival Ink. I quite like the archival ink, it's um, quite juicy and I get a lot of impressions out of it. I'm just rubbing it over the stamp and I'm just going to roll it on the page. I don't put it onto a block because I don't want a severe outline of the stamp. I just want a light impression. So that's where we are so far. So my next one, I think I'll do some stamping. This is a, yeah, it's really dirty, isn't it? This is a scrap of X stamp, and I'm going to use the French ultramarine blue. 
So with my foam, I'll dab into the paint. So I'm just dabbing into the paint. Lightly dabbing it onto the stamp. using this like the other stamps. I don't usually make a big I don't usually put them on a block. I quite like the randomness that they give when you roll it on and roll it off, different pressures of your hand. Right, so that's dry. Um, now what I'm going to do is I want to border the page. I want to start bringing it all in. So with my finger I'm going to do some finger painting, which I can never seem to not do when I'm painting. So I'm just going to grab a little bit of magenta, rub it into the corner, like the outside edge. I like using your finger because it allows you to nicely blend the paint. And I just love the feel of it, but it also gives you a really nice texture. That's nicely framed the whole page. Now I'm thinking about now where I want to put my text. And I will probably use the black Posca pen. This is a PC3M, which is a 1.3mm. It's a little bit thicker and it's probably medium. And I'll probably use the white Signo to outline it. So let's get this down. So I try not to think about my handwriting too much. Um, I go back and go over it if I feel that anything needs uh, fixing or making it um, bolder. Um, but I find particularly for me that if I fiddle around with my handwriting and go too slow then I end up shaky so I just end up just writing it. Um, and, and not taking too much time. So right now that's sort of disappearing. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go over it, make it a bit thicker. Don't be afraid to use your own handwriting in a page. I think I've said this in the previous video that your handwriting is an expression of you. And particularly in an art journal, that's what art journaling is all about is expressing you, putting you on a page. So don't be scared. I, I didn't like my handwriting to start with. Um, but the more I do it, I think I'm, it's more pleasing to me. And it's my art journal, and really that's the only person that I've got to please with it. So now the black's done, I'm going to go and outline it with my white Signo pen. This is a broad Signo. So I think what I might do is just do some random dots. And I think we're done. So thanks for watching guys. That was a bit of fun. I hope you enjoyed it. And if there's any techniques that you want me to try, just give me a shout out on my blog or my um, channel just down below. So follow me on Instagram for my lunchtime, art time, daily little posts. And if you visit my blog, I've got links there to all the courses that I'm doing, including the 30-day journal project with Lisa Sonora, the book of days with Effie Wilde, and life book with Tamara Laporte. There's some fantastic teachers in those courses, so I really recommend that you have a, have a look at that and sign up. 
and come and join us on Facebook in all those groups because there's some wonderful people in there and I'll see you next time for another art video. Bye!